Sometimes the universe whispers before it roars. This week, astronomers heard something. Not with sound, but with motion. A wave vast and invisible, rippling through the Milky Way, pushing thousands of stars out of place, including perhaps us. And while our galaxy trembles, the James Webb Telescope peers back to the dawn of time and finds galaxies that shouldn't exist. Too massive, too bright, too soon. Everything we thought we knew about the birth of the cosmos is unraveling. Even our deepest theories falter. Supercomputers now question the very nature of dark energy itself. The invisible force pulling the universe apart may not be constant after all. From rippling galaxies to dying stars, from hidden molecules to meteors poised to light up our skies, the cosmos is changing faster than we can understand. This is Astron News Weekly, your window into everything the universe revealed this week. Let's dive in. A great wave is rippling through our galaxy. The Milky Way isn't as calm or flat as we once imagined. Astronomers have discovered a massive galactic wave sweeping through our galaxy, an undulating motion that's literally lifting and lowering entire regions of stars like a tide across the night sky. Using ESA's Gaia spacecraft, researchers from the University of Vienna and Max Planck Institute mapped how stars move in 3D. They found thousands oscillating vertically across the galactic plane, a ripple extending over 10,000 light years, moving at up to 30 kilometers. This colossal wave could be the lingering echo of an ancient collision with the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy, or perhaps the gravitational wake of unseen dark matter passing through the Milky Way. The discovery reshapes our picture of the galaxy. Not a quiet spiral, but a living, breathing structure still trembling from its past. It means even our sun may be surfing this wave, bobbing up and down through the galactic disk. The ripple could influence star formation, gas flows, and how galaxies like ours evolve across cosmic time. Future Gaia data and simulations aim to trace the wave's origin and maybe uncover the hidden forces still sculpting our galaxy today. JWST confirms, nothing is as we thought. The James Webb Space Telescope has once again defied expectations. Its latest deep field images reveal galaxies so massive, so well-formed, and so ancient that they appear to exist impossibly soon after the Big Bang, forcing scientists to rethink how the universe evolved. This revelation comes from multiple research teams analyzing JWST data from 2025's Cosmic Evolution Early Release Survey, SEERS. Observations from the telescope's NIR CAM and NIR SPEC instruments captured light from galaxies dating back just 300, 500 million years after the Big Bang, far earlier than models predicted. These galaxies aren't faint, shapeless smudges. They're structured systems with dense star populations and active black holes. Their existence suggests star formation and matter clustering occurred much faster than our current physics allows. It's as if the cosmic timeline has been compressed, challenging decades of cosmology built on the Lambda CDM model. If verified, it could mean the early universe was denser, hotter, and more efficient at forming galaxies, or that dark matter behaved differently than we think. Either way, our story of cosmic dawn must be rewritten. Astronomers are planning deeper JWST surveys and gravitational lensing studies to confirm these impossible galaxies and reveal whether our universe began faster or stranger than we ever imagined. Dark energy may not be constant. Simulations challenge Lambda CDM. For 25 years, cosmology has trusted the Lambda CDM model, a universe ruled by dark energy that stays constant, steadily driving cosmic expansion. Now, new supercomputer simulations hint that dark energy might change over time, reshaping the entire story of the cosmos. A global collaboration led by scientists at the University of Chicago and the Kavli Institute for Cosmological Physics ran high-resolution simulations using one of the world's fastest supercomputers. Their virtual universes tested scenarios where dark energy's strength evolves instead of remaining fixed. The results fit certain real-world observations better than standard Lambda CDM, especially data showing subtle variations in the universe's expansion rate. If dark energy breathes with time, it could explain why local measurements of the Hubble constant conflict with those from the early cosmos 
a tension that has puzzled astronomers for years. A variable dark energy would rewrite cosmic physics, influencing galaxy formation, matter clustering, and the universe's ultimate fate. The idea hints that the cosmos may not coast to a quiet heat death, but evolve through shifting eras of acceleration. Upcoming missions like ESA's Euclid and NASA's Roman Telescope will test these models directly, mapping billions of galaxies to discover whether dark energy truly changes. A telescope that cuts through cosmic noise. Finding Earth-like planets is like listening for a whisper in a storm. This week, European scientists announced a revolutionary telescope design that can cancel out the noise of starlight and cosmic interference isolating faint planetary signals with unprecedented clarity. Developed under the POET project, Precision Optical Exoplanet Tracker, by a team across Europe, the prototype uses advanced adaptive optics and interferometry to sharpen vision beyond current space telescopes. It's being tested at the European Southern Observatory in Chile's Atacama Desert, one of the quietest skies on Earth. The design pairs ultra-stable mirrors with AI-driven real-time corrections that neutralize atmospheric turbulence. It can detect subtle dips in brightness and spectral fingerprints from distant worlds, even those hiding behind the glare of their host stars. In essence, it turns the chaos of starlight into order, giving astronomers a clearer path to finding true Earth analogs. This technology could multiply exoplanet discoveries and allow direct imaging of potentially habitable atmospheres a step toward detecting life's chemical signatures beyond our solar system. Engineers plan to integrate this system into future observatories like ELT and HABEX, making the next decade the most sensitive era in the search for another Earth. Gravitational waves in the millihertz frontier. A new generation of scientists is listening for ripples in space-time at frequencies humanity has never reached before. Researchers have unveiled a groundbreaking technique that could open the millihertz frontier a quiet region where colossal cosmic events whisper instead of roar. Physicists from the University of Birmingham, DESY Germany, and Caltech proposed a hybrid detector that combines optical cavities with ultra-precise atomic clocks. Unlike LIGO or Virgo, which hear high-frequency mergers, this concept targets slow-moving gravitational waves from supermassive black holes orbiting for centuries. By using interference patterns in laser light and measuring time distortions at atomic precision, the device could sense stretching of space-time a thousand times weaker than current detectors can. It bridges the gap between ground observatories and space missions like LISA, creating a continuous band of gravitational hearing across the universe. Unlocking this range could reveal the long, slow waltz of galaxies, merging and even vibrations from the universe's earliest moments. It's like adding bass tones to the cosmic symphony we've only begun to hear. Prototypes will be tested in vacuum labs over the next two years, paving the way for the first millihertz observatory and a deeper harmony between gravity, light, and time itself. Little red dots and overgrown black holes. Astronomers studying the distant universe have uncovered a puzzling population of faint, compact galaxies, nicknamed little red dots. They appear tiny and dim, but JWST has revealed something astonishing inside them. Supermassive black holes far too massive for their small size. Using deep field observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers from the University of Cambridge and NASA analyzed dozens of these LRDs formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. They expected to find small growing galaxies but instead found bright infrared cores hinting at enormous black holes already active at cosmic dawn. These galaxies shouldn't exist yet. The black holes inside them appear to be millions, even billions, of solar masses, far outpacing their hosts. It challenges our understanding of black hole growth and suggests that some black holes might have formed directly from collapsing clouds of primordial gas, skipping the slow process of stellar evolution entirely. If confirmed, LRDs could be the missing link between the first galaxies and the monster quasars that lit up the early universe. They're showing us how quickly chaos and structure took root after the Big Bang. Follow-up JWST spectra and future Nancy Grace Roman surveys aim to measure their exact masses and uncover how the universe built giants so fast, so soon.
Mysterious molecule found in brown dwarf atmosphere. Astronomers have detected a molecule never before seen in a brown dwarf's atmosphere. A faint, glowing world that blurs the line between planets and stars. The find opens a new window into the chemistry of these strange substellar objects, where temperatures and pressures mimic both Jupiter and failed stars. Using the James Webb Space Telescope's NIRSPEC instrument, an international team led by the University of Arizona studied the brown dwarf Wysea J1534-1043, located about 40 light years away. The data revealed faint absorption lines belonging to a molecule scientists didn't expect to find. Silicon monoxide SiO, in gaseous form, surviving at depths once thought too cool for it to exist. The molecule's presence hints at exotic weather systems, silicate clouds, dynamic convection, and even dusty storms that churn up heavier elements from deeper layers. It challenges atmospheric models and su suggests brown dwarfs are far more complex than cold, quiet orbs. This discovery bridges the chemistry of giant planets and small stars, refining how we study exoplanet atmospheres and their potential habitability. It's proof that even failed stars can harbor unexpected complexity. Astronomers plan extended JWST observations to catalog more molecules, building a chemical fingerprint library that could one day help identify similar patterns in true exoplanets orbiting distant suns. Two hidden pulsars discovered by Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. Astronomers using Australia's powerful ASCAP radio telescope have discovered two highly scattered pulsars, stellar remnants so faint and distorted that they had escaped every previous sky survey. These spinning neutron stars are among the most extreme objects ever found in the Southern Milky Way. The discovery made by the ASCAP Variables and Slow Transients Vastuburin team revealed pulsars PSR J1964451 and PSR J1837061016. Each is over 20,000 light years away, their radio signals stretched and warped by dense clouds of interstellar plasma. ASCAP's wide field imaging and fast time resolution allowed astronomers to detect the brief, flickering beacons of their magnetic poles. Pulsars are city-sized stellar corpses rotating hundreds of times per second, emitting perfect cosmic clockwork. These new finds show how radio waves scatter when passing through galactic gas, offering a map of turbulence and density in the Milky Way's hidden regions. Discovering such faint pulsars expands our galactic census and refines models of interstellar medium physics. Vital for timing arrays that aim to detect low-frequency gravitational waves using pulsar networks. The vast survey will continue scanning the southern sky, hoping to uncover dozens more lost pulsars, quiet messengers ticking in the shadows, carrying the rhythm of space-time itself. Draconid meteor outburst predicted for October 8, 2025. Mark your calendars. The night sky could soon erupt in a rare draconid meteor outburst. Astronomers predict that on October 8, 2025, Earth may cross a fresh dust trail left by the comet 21P Jacobini Zinner, igniting a brief but intense meteor display that could turn the heavens into a radiant storm. Based on orbital simulations from IMO meteor scientists and independent researchers in Japan and Finland, the prediction points to a new debris filament released during the comet's 1959 perihelion. If calculations hold, Earth will pass through it around 2230 UTC, with strongest activity visible across Europe, North Africa, and Western Asia. Unlike steady meteor showers, draconids are unpredictable, sometimes producing only a handful of meteors, and other times hundreds per hour. Their slow speed makes them appear graceful, drifting from the constellation Draco near the northern horizon, glowing in golden hues. Even a modest outburst will be valuable for researchers studying how cometary debris evolves in orbit. It's also a reminder that Earth constantly sails through ancient cosmic dust, remnants of the solar system's earliest chemistry. Observatories worldwide will monitor radar echoes and optical counts. If skies are clear, October 8th could offer one of 2025's most mesmerizing celestial spectacles, a true night of dragons. Sharper than space, AI algorithm brings stars into focus. Astronomers have developed a new AI-powered image reconstruction algorithm that can make ground-based telescopes see with clarity, rivaling the Hubble and even the James Webb Space Telescope. 
It's a breakthrough that turns noisy, distorted images into razor-sharp cosmic portraits. Created by a collaboration between Johns Hopkins University and Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam, the algorithm, named Image MM, was unveiled on September 29, 2025. It combines machine learning with physical models of light scattering to correct atmospheric blur in real time. Traditional adaptive optics adjust mirrors mechanically to compensate for turbulence. ImageMM takes this further by learning how light behaves at every pixel, reconstructing lost detail even in faint galaxies or crowded star fields. It's like restoring focus to the universe itself, turning fuzz into form and static into story. The technology could give Earth's telescopes space-grade vision without launching new instruments, a revolution in astronomy's accessibility and precision. It may also enhance planetary imaging, exoplanet tracking, and even future space probes relying on distant optical data. The next phase is integrating ImageMM into major observatories such as Vera C. Rubin and ESO's ELT, allowing astronomers to map the cosmos with more depth, accuracy, and beauty than ever before. The universe never stops changing, and neither does our curiosity. From rippling galaxies to newborn stars, every discovery is a reminder of how far we've come. This is Astron News Weekly. Until next time, keep looking up, like, share, and subscribe.